all right so now let's create the company so open tally so when you start tally this is the default screen which will appear which is referred as gateway of tally so you can see that there are few options available over here so there are options like select company login as remote user create company backup restore and quit so to create a company we need to select the option create company to navigate across the menus you can use the direction keys on your keyboard and press enter or you can double click on an option to select it you can also press the highlighted bold letters on your keyboard which are shortcut keys for each option for example if i press the letter c then it will take me to company creation screen all right now let's proceed to create the company i will select the option create company and press enter so this is the company creation screen which will appear you can see that the name of the screen is on the top left corner of your screen here you need to provide some information about your business like the name of the business its address and its phone number and so on so let me quickly show you how to enter all those details by default the cursor will be highlighted against the name field but there is a field called directory which is uh, before the name field to highlight that field you need to press the backspace key so the directory field will specify the location where your data will be stored so in case if you wish to change the default location then you can specify the path on your hard drive where your data will be stored suppose if i want to store all my data in d drive then i will specify the location as follows so after specifying the location i need to press the enter key pressing the enter key will advance the cursor to the next field so if i press the backspace key the cursor will go back to the previous field and if i press the enter key the cursor will move to the next field in the name field you need to specify the name of your company press enter the cursor will move to the mailing name field in the mailing name field you need to specify the company name which will be used in postal communication so in case if you are using a different name for postal communication then you can specify it over here or you can simply use the same name as the company name now press the enter key and specify the address of your business for the field country you need to specify the name of the country you can select the name of the country from the list on the right side selecting a country will configure country specific statutory information let india be the name of the country and i will specify the state as maharashtra you can either navigate through the list of states or simply type the name of the state and press enter you may have noticed that i did not type the full name of the state i just typed few letters of the word and the list got filtered by itself so in this way you can quickly enter the information that you want now let me provide a pin code and enter some contact details now press the enter key the cursor will move to the field financial year begins from in this field you need to specify the date on which the financial year begins in india the financial year begins on 1st of april since the date is already 1st of april we will not change it so press enter and the cursor will move to the field books beginning from for the field books beginning from you need to specify the date on which you started using tally suppose for the financial year 2019-2020 you started using tally in the mid year say in the month of september then you need to specify the date as 1st of september over year 
Since we are going to start using tally from the beginning of the financial year itself, we will keep the date as 1st April 2019 over here. Press enter. The cursor will move to the field tally vault password. In this field, you need to provide a password to secure your company details. So once you set your password, you will need to provide it every time before accessing your company details. Tally Vault Password is an optional field. So right now I am not going to enter any password information. But I am going to demonstrate its usage at the end of the course. Now press the enter key. The cursor will move to the field use security control. So this is another security feature in Tally. Suppose if there are other users who are going to use this company then I can decide what level of information that they can access. So I can define their roles and I can define the level of access which they can have like whether they can modify any details or whether they can just enter any new details or not. All these things will be discussed at the end of the course. Press the enter key. So under base currency information fields you can define the format of the currency to be displayed. So I am not going to change any values over here. And if I press the enter key from the last field, tally will prompt me to save the company creation. So if I press the letter Y, the company creation would be accepted. And if I press the letter N, I would still be in the company creation screen. Alternatively, you can press Ctrl A to save the company creation.